dog Bernie Carbo. Carbo hit the first pitch in Cincinnati as a pinch hitter in game three and hit it over the left field wall. Carbo one time, the number one draft choice of the Cincinnati Reds. You heard it before, but that's the irony of this game. He was drafted before Johnny Bench. Here comes Morgan. He wants to know how Eastwick is going to pitch him. Well, Carbo's a good inside-out swinger, and uh, most teams this year try to pitch him well inside. They try to jam Carbo. In fact, uh, he hit that home run, as you mentioned, Joe, but the other time he was retired, he also hit the ball down the lead of left field. Right, right. They're playing in the left field, too, Dick. Foster is way over near the line. A lot of room in left center. Right. Saw Joe, excuse me, Joe, saw Joe Morgan turn and look at his outfield, move them all back. Anything hit among them or between them, he wants that man at the plate kept out of scoring position. That's the important guy. He's a tying run. Two outs. Side misses one and one. Single by Lynn opened the eighth inning. A walk to Petroselli. Sparky Anderson went to his bullpen again. Eastwick got Evans on strikes and Burleson on a fly ball. One one count on Bernie Carbo. Ball two. Trying to keep that ball inside. Lynn. Second, Petroselli's at first. Good cut, good fastball, two and two's the count. That was strength against strength. Good fastball hitter against a good fastball pitcher. Eastwick. Out of play. That was the one, Joe. A little bit out over the plate. Carbo a little bit late on the swing. He's had his cuts. Bernie Carbo, a pinch hitter. Two two pitch. Just did get a piece of it to stay alive. You talk about fighting off a good pitch. Looked like he hit that out of the catcher's glove. He did. Ball was down low. He did fight it off. Just got a piece of it. Just protecting the plate. That's a kind boy. If you get a foul ball, you're really happy. You did your job.